first of its kind here in San Diego. It's a unique partnership between a local community group and a homeless outreach group. In this case, the Little Italy Association and the San Diego Rescue Mission. The goal is to join forces, build trust, and help the helpless. KUSI's Dan Plant joins us now from Little Italy with the latest tonight. Dan, good evening. Yeah, this is a new one. We've done a little Italy talking about a lot of things regarding restaurants and patios and roofs and stuff like that. Uh, but this is a very unique partnership, as you said, and the very first of its kind, as you said. You know, citywide, San Diego has a homeless plan. It, it's kind of gone back and forth from housing first to actual helping services and whatnot. We have tents around town, but we also know that the number of homeless people here in San Diego is not getting smaller. It's actually getting larger. And in this particular part of town, Little Italy, there are some people who have been living, if you will, for more than 20 years on the streets, waking up in the bushes of Little Italy, eating out of the garbage cans, getting their cigarette butts out of old ashtrays. And these are the people that now are the subject, basically, of this new effort to get them off the streets. And by the way, it is being run not only by Little Italy and the San Diego Rescue Mission, but they have someone out here on the streets who has been here before and is really talking directly one-on-one -on -one with the folks who are out here. And that is the way you actually get through to these folks. So we got a chance to catch up with uh, the folks from the rescue mission and the young lady who's out on the streets every day talking to folks. Check it out. It's one of those parts of town that always seems to be the talk of the town, and for good reason. Little Italy has been a trailblazer for attracting business and improving this community. But like every part of town, Little Italy also has a rather large homeless population, a population that suddenly has a partner to help them off the street. It is a little bit of a unique opportunity in where we have a specific neighborhood association trying to really solve the issue uh, at, a, at a local community effort. Level. While the city of San Diego has been attempting to address this very complicated social issue for decades, the results have been mixed at best. This is the first ever direct partnership between a community group and a homeless outreach. In this case, the Little Italy Association and the San Diego Rescue Mission. So we're out here seven days a week, the same two individuals coming out on a regular basis to build relationships, to build rapport, and then as people learn to trust us, then we can help them take their next step forward and hopefully get them off the street. And to do that, the rescue mission has recruited a secret weapon. Her name is Carla Venegas. She walks these streets with a lot of street smarts. I was here about 19 years ago, homeless on the streets with my child and pregnant. And uh, the San Diego Rescue Mission opened up their arms to me and, and helped me to get into the emergency shelter first. <laughs> Fast forward 20 years, Carla now has two kids in college, one in the Marines, and is now the homeless ambassador for Little Italy and the rescue mission. Now I get to follow my passion. The San Diego Res Rescue Mission has allowed me to come back and to follow my passion by being out here with a sincere heart to share the hope. There's hope and that things can change. Sometimes the hardest part to helping the homeless is gaining their trust, especially as some of these people have been out here for decades now. But as a former homeless person, Carla is getting through and getting through fast. I think Robert's right there at the corner of um, who we helped this morning. We took him to take a shower. Okay. He hadn't taken a shower in months. He felt like a million bucks afterwards. He just, he's just so happy. And that's how the relationship begins. First, it's a shower, then who knows? If people are willing to accept help, help is now available. But it's that street contact, that personal contact, that makes all the difference. I'm just so proud to be a part of this collaboration between Little Italy and the San Diego Rescue Mission. And I get to bring the heart, right, and the hope back, and they're allowing me to do that. And so one life at a time. And like my shirt says, we are better together. <laughs> Amen to that, Carla. Amen to that. And that applies to everything in our world today, doesn't it? Boy, we need to get together like never before. So this is really, really, you know, fascinating sort of approach to homelessness at this point. You know, the big sort of wide net approach hasn't really worked that well. There are people certainly getting help here in San Diego. But the fact that it's a little community looking after their own community and partnering directly with a homeless outreach group, this is kind of a formula that 
that if it works, and by the way, they're going to do this for a year, and they're going to take a look at the information that they've gathered to see how many people they have helped, to see how it's working, and then they'll reevaluate. So for the next year, they'll be on the streets seven days a week talking to all these same people over and over and over again to get their trust. And who knows, maybe someday they'll actually go into some sort of a program to get alcohol treatment, to get drug abuse treatment, whatever it is. You know, sometimes it's just as simple for some of these folks is having a legal issue where they don't have a license and they can't get to the DMV or, you know, a variety of things like that or medical issues that they just can't deal with by themselves. As we know, and as was told to me by Paul, and it was a great saying, there's a thousand ways to get into homelessness. There's also a thousand ways to get out of it, and this is one of them, and we're going to be watching it closely to see how it works. But certainly here in Little Italy, um, this is a very unique approach and a very unique attempt to try and help the folks who are literally waking up in bushes every day, some of them for the past 20 years or more. So that's what's going on out here in Little Italy, trying to help the folks out who are... Well, they need the help as we head into the holiday season. It's so sad to see these folks. I mean, it's sad any time, but holiday tends to bring the emotions out, doesn't it? So that's what's going on, you guys, here in Little Italy. And, of course, if you can help the rescue mission in any way, shape, or form financially, they always like help. Back to you guys. Definitely an out of the box type, uh, out of the box type idea, Dan. Very curious to see what happens next, but I like the momentum yeah. here. Thank you. We'll see you next hour.